guys and welcome back. Um, I hope that all of you had a great Christmas and holidays um, and getting a good start to the new year. Um, my house has been a little sick. All of my girls came down with um, really high fevers this week, so just in time for them to go back to school. Um, but they are on the mend, so we're slowly getting there. Um, but um, that being said, this week I'm gonna try and get out um, a video for you guys um, on some Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel dupes. Um, so I have all these vases um, and some candle holders here. So the first thing that we're gonna try are a couple of Pottery Barn um, vase dupes. Um, and these two I got from Christina Muscari from Pretty Distressed. She did a terracotta vase and it um, was tan with some texture and I'm gonna try that and then she did a black um, textured vase in Party Barn. Um, I love those. I got those ideas from her and I'm gonna try both of those for you guys and for my house personally. Um, and then I just started to do some research online um, over some, some more vases and things. And I found on Crate and Barrel a speckled vase that was like $180, I think. And it looked really easy. So I found this bowling ball <laughs> shaped um, vase at Goodwill. Um, this was only eight dollars, and I, the closest I could find to that shape, um, I couldn't really find any big vases for some reason. Um, but we're gonna try this one and see. Um, go for that look with this. It looked fairly easy. It looked like it was white and speckled, so I'm gonna give that a try. Um, and then I have these candle holders um, from my house. I am still trying to get rid of the rest of my distressed farmhouse look. Um, but I wanted to keep these. Um, I just didn't know what to do with them. So I found some really cute textured, black textured candle holders on Pottery Barn for like $30 a piece. And I really like the look. So we're going to try and give these a textured look as well. Um, thanks for watching my channel and let's get started. Okay, for this first vase, we're gonna be doing the texture terracotta vase from Pottery Barn um, that was, I think, $80. Um, and I got this vase, like I said, at a thrift store, um, probably Goodwill, um, and this one was $4. Um, so I, we're gonna paint it first. You're going to want to use some kind of mineral paint. I'm using Dixie Belle chalk paint in Sandbar um, because it's kind of the perfect color for the look we're going for. And I'm just gonna paint this. It's gonna take a couple of coats um, and that's okay. You definitely wanna use mineral paint though so it will adhere to the glass. Um, it does not have to be Dixabelle. I know that can be pricey. I have used Dixabelle before and I really like their products. Um, so sometimes I will, if I know that I'm gonna be using it again, I'll definitely buy theirs. Um, so we're just gonna get this painted with a couple of coats. And then we'll get to the fun part, which will be, um, I'll be using um, dry dex spackling for the texture, and then we'll add some color to it. Okay guys. For the base, I put two coats of paint on here and I'm gonna be using some spackle. And then I just went ahead and put the spackle and poured paint right into a cup and I'm just gonna mix it really well. And this is what's gonna give us our textured look. Okay, and we are just gonna, I'm wearing gloves because this gets messy um, and we are just going to take this the texture, and I'm just gonna put it all around the base. So we're just gonna cover it first, and then we will make it look textured and play with it a little bit. Now that it's on there, we're just gonna take the gloves and just 
make make it look textured. And just kind of play with it. And this is just kind of you get to play around with it so you get the textured look that you like. We're gonna let this dry um, probably overnight and we'll come back and we'll put some color to it to add a little bit more depth. Okay, now it's time to add some color to it. So I'm gonna be using Dixie Belle uh, Mud Puddle Color. And then I also grabbed some, a sample paint and I did like a kind of a brick red color. Um, I got that at Ace, it was really for um, the other vase but I decided to use some of this color. We're just going to use a paper towel and just kind of dab it to give it some texture color. And you can do as much or as little as you want. And I'm kind of just wiping it off so there's not a bunch of excess on there. And it really is just kind of what you're looking for on your piece. Hey guys, here is a close-up. Um, I really love this. I got some of these um, artificial cedar branches off of Amazon for only $10 and they came in a whole bunch. Um, so that is nice for winter, but you can also use this and change it um, to any spring um, and summer floral too. So I am loving this so much. To me, it looks very high end um, and not like a, what I say, $4 vase from Goodwill. Um, I will get this staged for you so you can see uh, what it looks like staged, but so far I am in love. Um, for this next vase, we're gonna be doing a ceramic um, textured black look. Um, so I'm using Country Chic in black. Um, and again, this is a paint that I had already in my garage, which was really nice. And we are just going to paint this like the other vase. And it probably will take a couple of coats, but that is okay. We'll let it completely dry and then come back with another coat. I have two coats on our black vase here. Um, and this time I did the same process. I added the spackle to a cup and then I just poured the black paint in there. But I also added a little bit of water to this. So it's a little bit thinner um, because I didn't want the consistency to be as thick as the last one. Um, and so it's kind of the same process. I'm not gonna do quite as much texture on this one as I did the last one. So I'm just going to take a little bit and get it on my hands like this. And then I'm just going to kind of pat around it while leaving some of the paint to show through. Um, and that just gives it a little bit more depth. I think that has a really cool look to it. Um, so I'm just gonna continue this all the way around it until I get, or you get, the desired look that you want on your piece. Okay guys, we're gonna do the same process with the mud puddle um, as we did with the other vase. Um, and so I have a little bit of the mud puddle and I am just going to put barely any of this on there 
and I'm just gonna kind of rub it on and give it a little bit more depth than what it already has. And now we're going to do um, the candle holders um, and we're going for the black stone textured look on these. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm using the same uh, country sheet paint and I'm just going to pour a little bit. Um, and then I'm just going to add what I think um, is a good amount of baking soda right on here so you can see that and then I'm going to mix it up. And this gives um, baking soda, just gives it a very textured um, stone look. So I'm going to mix that in really well. Okay, so it's mixed really well and then we're just going to paint it. And I will show you up close. This gives it a really nice textured look by adding the baking soda. So I'm just gonna keep painting and do all three of these. And if you want even more texture, obviously you add a little bit more baking soda to it. Okay guys, here is the vase. Um, I love the way it turned out. It looks very um, high-end to me. Um, and then here are the candle holders. I'm gonna try to get up close so you can actually see the texture on there. Um, I love these. I didn't know if I'd like them, but it was so easy with the baking soda and it just, it looks really high-end and really cool. So I will get these staged all for you guys, but um, so far, this is what we have. All right, for the last vase, um, my bowling ball, the shape one, um, I'm just gonna, I've already cleaned it like I did the other ones, and now we're just gonna take some mausoleum chalk paint and we're gonna paint it white. This will probably take a few coats. I wanted to use spray paint, but I did not have any, so this is what I had in my garage. But it'll work just fine. Okay guys, now we're on to our, our bowling ball vase. Um, and for this one, um, I just took some black paint that I had and added water and then the brick color um, and added water to that as well. And then I found a wire brush at Ace and I just thought I would dip it in there and kind of just flick it on like this. And I tried it on the back and it worked well. so. I'm just gonna keep going with that. Um, this is the one I found online and just thought that I would try, just thought, why not? Let's try it, try to replicate it. Um, and like I said, I this is not exactly the shape of the base that I wanted, but um, if this turns out well, then I can always keep looking and um, find a, one that I do like better and do it again. Okay guys, here it is. Um, this was the Crate and Barrel vase. Um, now mine is obviously way more round, but I love the way it ended up looking. Um, if this was Christmas, you could always add some berries to that. Um, and like I said, change it out to make it um, some more spring-like. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Again, I will get these, all these things staged for you so you can see what it looks like inside, nicely staged. 
Okay guys, here they are. Um, here's all of the vases, stage. Um, I'm super excited to have some new decor in my house and I really love the way they turned out. Um, I hope this gave you guys some good ideas. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, as always, thank you for watching and I'm really excited to get these in my house where I want them. And um, I just appreciate any comments that you guys have, any questions, and please hit like and subscribe.